blogging or if you're not relating or creating and relating to your audience, basically um, no, nobody knows about your existence. Now, let's be honest, a lot of things have changed from the time you were, say, five years old to the time you, you are today. And I'm supposing there's not a whole bunch of five year olds that are watching this video today. A lot has changed. Um, our mobile phones have changed. Even our cars are starting to drive themselves. You know, when I started driving um, a car, it was all the manual stick shift. And for millennials, I don't know if you understand what that is. It's a five speed where you put it from gear number one to two to three you had to actually make the car move but these days you just sit in put your seat belt on press on a couple of gears and then the car is moving by itself you don't even know if you're in a high gear or low gear you just keep pressing the pedal and then the car sort of automatically changes itself um that way and in as much as cars have changed our phones have changed um you know we're now using the mobile phones um, you know, smartphones. Back in the time, it used to be like a analog phone where, yeah, you had to keep pressing the same digit for you to text. I don't know how we got girlfriends in that time, but it's quite funny how everything has sort of changed. And to say that search engine optimization has remained the same, we will be lying to ourselves. So if I'm not mistaken, Google would have been founded in the dot-com era, which is around the 1990s, um, when a lot of websites started popping up on the scene and there needed to be somebody um, that would curate all that information and put it in such a manner that it's easy to use. And that's exactly what a search engine does. But back in the day, you know, all those um, who entered the industry, you know, they had to concern themselves with keywords, keyword research, you know, inserting keywords into the relevant uh, places and making sure that every page had those keywords, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That was because there was only maybe two or three websites within that area. So you just wanted to make sure that your website is the one that was found. But move 20 years later, or maybe 30 years later, the internet has vastly changed. We are experiencing a time where where we get 60. Um, maybe uh, 60,000 web pages being created every single day, all right? If it's not pages, it's profiles. So all of those are now platforms that are uh, giving out information and we really need a way to make sense of our world around us and that's where search engines come in play, all right? So, you know, back in the time, like I was talking about the dot-com era, you know, websites were crammed with tons and tons of keywords that dominated the search engine page results. And however, the quality of the content was not as good. And you can see there's a whole difference in the way that people perceive content these days, no matter how good your business has been. But if you're not blogging or if you're not relating or creating and relating to your audience, basically um, no, nobody knows about your existence.